Let's be honest, um, I know it's a podcast or what, but we have the one and only Liam Bailey today. Yeah. Well going, well going. Thing good? Yeah. Best season. Once the congrats for your season, you know? Is it say your best season so far, right? I would say the best season in terms of contribution, because mm -hmm. I think I scored more goal in one season. Before the season before I went to Aston Villa. And yeah, this season is my best season in terms of contribution. So goals and assists? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what happened? What changed? I don't know, I think I just really get my foot on the ground the, the right way and just start, you know, start, I think the coach came in and, and did a lot because previous coaches had issues with the coaches. Like, I think things weren't clicking at the moment. And um, when the new coach came in, I think that's where everything just turned around for me. And, mm -hmm. you know, he helped me a lot to be where I am today. And, you know, I don't know, I just felt more comfortable, more confident, and everything just started to really play out the way that I know it should have been. You feel like two DRBs there now that contributed, because, you know, you guys had, like, the most con goal contribution together at Leverkusen, right, for that season? Yeah. No, I wouldn't say because of the other year, because I actually wanted him there, because I know we played well together, you get me? So even before he went there, I was on the phone with the coach and be like, when I saw the rumours and that, I said, yo, I was on the phone with the coach and I was speaking to him. I was like, yo, I think we should really get in the Abbey. It would really be a, um, a lot of help to the team. And I know what type of person he is and what type of player he is. And he, he was really, really happy about him as well. So I even spoke to the Abbey before he came and everything and like convinced him to come and everything. So. Mm -hmm. You know, the media is always going to be the media. I see some things sometimes that they say. Yeah, because you want to know I'm going to take a game. Take me game and all that. But it's, it, it's, you know, media is the media and people will say what they want to say. But me and Musa have a great relationship. I don't know why people always try to go against people or put people up against people. But that's never it for me. And, you know, at the same time, we normally play the same position. But I can play anywhere in front. Striker, left wing, right wing. He can play just the same thing mm -hmm. as well. So it's not like we're, we're we're only one. We have only one position that both of us only play that one position. But we have to fight for this spot. If you understand what I mean. So yeah. you have games that me and him playing. You have games that he's playing on the left, I'm playing on the right. You have games that he's only playing or I'm only playing. You know what I mean? So it's it. Is, is that ever a fear though? Where like you feel like this? Yo, my game can't really get taken. No, never a fear. Never been a fear for me. Any time, no time at all. Like, I believe in myself and I know what I'm capable of. So I've never doubted my ability and what I can, you know, showcase whenever I get the opportunity. So I never, ever. Mm -hmm. which, which game this season with us, you that game there was a game, Liam Bailey really stepped out and performed. <laughs> This season, I would say the game that we really think uh, that was probably one of the best game overall in terms of everything. Cause I feel like if I didn't score that game, I would have been really upset. Cause I, I played so well from the start of the game until it, the end, and that was against Manchester City when we won um, a Villa Park one love. Mm -hmm. So, on the thing gonna take you in the league? <sighs> Anything is possible, you know, but. Right now, it's not looking too good because obviously, you know, we've been slacking a little bit in terms of where the, point, the points are at the moment. But I say we're still trying to be hopeful. Mm -hmm. And the new contract. Mm -hmm. Congrats for that as well. Thanks, man. Respect. You, you see yourself at, at, at Aston Villa for that long or that transfer can be on the way anytime soon? Well, at the moment, I can say like I've really been enjoying my football. I've really been like focus on being at Aston Villa and just finishing the season strong. Obviously, it's been, as you can say, one of the best seasons that I've been having in my whole career. So you never know in football, you know, but as I say, I'm comfortable. I'm, um, I'm happy where I'm at. And for me, that's where I, I just focus on one thing at a time and I just, mm -hmm. you know, try to work as hard as I can and, you know, continue contributing and who knows what will happen in the future. All right, you aside, Dujan Richards now is at Chelsea. Yeah. How does that make you feel now? So you guys came from Phoenix and now another Jamaican, a born Jamaican is playing now. That's a big, England. massive thing. And a lot of people need to also like really 
free and focus how much Jamaican born as ever came straight out of Jamaica and gone straight into a, a Premier League team. Mm -hmm. And I feel like a lot of people just look at it as, oh, him just kind of jealousy, oh, them not seeing face no, or whatever the case is. But, bro, what, what, what has happened with him is even bigger than what happened, has happened with me in terms of how I started my career. That's not normal for Jamaica. For Manning Cup. For Manning Cup and just playing in an academy. To just go from Jamaica straight into a Chelsea football club. Chelsea football club is a massive team. For sure. So just think about that. And I think people need to really give credit where it's due. And I think um, he's an amazing talent. Um, obviously, he's there now. And I hope he can really get things like really going for himself. But I really believe in him. And I'm trying to help him as much as possible. Um, I just hopefully we can... We can you know, wave the flag for others and open the doors like we've been doing for all these years. And, you know, it's just, a, it's just a joy to see and it's a joy being Jamaican, knowing that, you know, we're actually being able to do what we're doing at the highest level and, you know, shining the light down on other young Jamaican, young talents. And, you know, it's, it's, just, a, it's just a really nice thing. Raheem Sterling, Dujan Richards, all at Chelsea. If Chelsea for me could offer right now, that's what I'm, <laughs> that's what I'm motivated for go over there. Boy, I I, 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 I don't even know if I answer that one there. But you have big teams in, in England, right? You have the, they call themselves the big six. That's, you probably know them, the Arsenal, mm -hmm. the Chelsea. And for me, you know, it's, it has always been my dream to play in the Premier League. I'm already playing in the Premier League right now. And... Who wouldn't want to go to a, um, a massive team, especially coming out of Jamaica? You know how big that is for the country, and especially being who I am as well, it would be so it would shine more light. And for me, I'm that's what that's what my focus has always been. Whenever I'm representing overseas or representing at all anywhere, is to use my platform to be able to shine light on the country and on the young talents, because I know how difficult it is for us mm -hmm. as Jamaicans to even have a dream to even think we can make it to Europe. So I feel like, I don't know how to answer that question, but I'd have to just see in the moment. Mm -hmm. But the common, the common denominator between Liam Bailey and Dujan Richards is Craig Butler. I think it's time now JFF give Craig, Craig Butler that shot to do, give him the freedom to do what he wants to do because clearly it's working. It's not like, all right, then you get chippy and then buck ups, you know? Anomaly. No, you get <laughs> Dujan Richards now, straight from money because we think of time for them to hear what. But go make Craig Butler do what he wants to do. That's exactly what they for do because you can see the result them. They get, you have me, you have Whisper, you have so much other young players that are playing in different parts of Europe and how many actually teams out in Jamaica can say them have that what may I say that amount of players playing anywhere in mm -hmm. the world and this is the highest level we're talking about and he's be, he's very experienced and has a lot of knowledge and understanding about the game and but the thing is that will never happen here in Jamaica for them to just say yeah because a lot of politics is in the in in, in Jamaica so it's going to be difficult but I want and I hope one day that people will just start to focus on or, or, or um, the youths and investing and really just putting their all into trying to develop the country and develop the youths of our, uh, uh, um, the younger generation. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like what I've been experience, experiencing for, this, for the longest while is that the people that are the bigger heads look, that should be looking after us is really looking out for themselves. But what's the gain though? Because in my, I, I don't know how much football makes in Jamaica or what a national game would make. So what is the gain? Like the purpose, like hold back talent or is it just like them want to control the talents, them want to manage the talents? Like what's the gain for them? The gain for them is basically they have to push their players because that's how they get paid. Okay. So if you have one player that's better than another. And because you're in the position to put whoever you want in the system, you're going to put your player because you're going to put him and hope that he makes it or somebody sees him and like him 
And then if he gets sellers, who gets the money? Mm -hmm. That's how it works. But also when it comes down to like, you know, the national team, for example, is just that we don't choose the right players. And I feel like there are so much other players that are there that, you know, haven't really got the best shot. Even myself as a big example, when I was younger, I've only represented the national team one time. Mm -hmm. And everybody knew who I, who I was from the age of 11, 12. And I've but, only represented but one. But you saying that they're not picking the, the, the right team, right? Somebody could say, you're saying that because those are your friends, you're not picking your friends. I am not talking about my friend. I'm speaking for the, 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 the people who have talent, the young people. Like, who give have... me a name who you feel is being overlooked. I don't, I'm not going to give a name because we don't want to get into that. But mm -hmm. I'm going to speak for myself. 12 year old, I won everything there was to win in the competitions here in Jamaica. At 18 year old, I started my professional career. I've only represented the national team once. Once. I was, I've always been one of the most sought after young football players when I was 12, 13, 14, 15, being in Europe. Everybody knew I was that type of player. But yet still, I've only represented the national team once. And the only reason why I played that one game is because one of our friends was the assistant coach for the under 23. So the politics were for you? <laughs> you know, I mess up where, but you know, still I mess work. up where, but you see what me I try yeah, to say. Yeah. Like, you're not it shouldn't be that way. It shouldn't be that way. You shouldn't be have to go in through that. Like, if I was at a different team, mm -hmm. I would have been in a national team. But because I'm not, it's just like, we don't care that you have talent. It's, it is what it is. My thing is, I want to get my players through the door, but not the focus is not on developing yeah, and the country. young and the country. And for me, I think that's, that's just messed up. Mm -hmm. Now, you start representing the country now, right? People have it for say, Liam Bailey doesn't, we don't get the Aston Villa Liam Bailey in Jamaica. We get this Jamaican version of Liam Bailey, which, who doesn't perform as well. Wakes can say is like the reason for that. Because I personally don't think you perform like the utmost best when you're in the country. I don't know if it was a chemistry thing, is a coach thing. Well, it's very easy for answer. And it's also why one of the reasons why I went one to do the interview because I feel like I need to shed a lot of light on a lot of things that I have to face. I've never been the one who likes media or always. Yeah, it's always, no, always when they push you. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I've always been the type of person where the, I just let people talk in it. So basically, it's two different ball game. Mm -hmm. Totally two different ball game. You can't compare club football to international football. You can if Jamaica where wasn't where it is right mm -hmm. now. For one, the facilities, the fields that we play on. The chemistry that we have between the group is not, we don't train together every day. It's not like we have, as I said, the best selections of players. So it's always going to be a challenge. And especially I play with a lot of pressure every time I represent the national team. And a lot of people don't know that. But the pressure is not the issue. Sometimes it's just that my way of contributing is different because I know what environment I'm in. Mm -hmm. So my contribution as a person that they look up to in the national team is to help everyone else around me. If he's lacking, he's, he's lacking, or I need to show up there, I need to be there for this one, or, you know, just whatever way I can show up. Sometimes I don't always play the best because it's difficult. We don't, we don't, we don't train together every day. We train two days before a game. And sometimes the training session is just probably like an hour long, like max. So you won't have the same type of football, and especially you're playing on feet. I can't, you can't dribble, bro. You have the ball and start dribbling, and the ball gone everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's not the same thing. I yeah, can't expect the same thing. Well, I, I, mean, I hear Damian Lodi complain about, um, I, I'm not sure which game it was, but I know it was post the Chris Brown show, and like the feel never did ready up to par. Like you feel like even that like events oh, keep doing the stadium. A, you're doing you're doing a you're doing a passing drill and the ball the ball can't just roll straight on the floor. It's different. I'm used to playing on high quality pitches, bro. When I have the ball, as the ball come to me, me I take people. When the ball come to you, you have, if the ball come to you, you have to make sure you say I hope my focus 
to make sure just control is about it. Mm-hmm. And especially you now, my type of game is not strength and all of them things, where the ball are fumble up, fumble up. A skill, me need to take people, go inside, outside, but if the pitch don't all the way through that, how are you going to perform? You know who do well pan, pan pitches like them things? People who play with strength and them things, who can just body a man, son, body a man, son, turn so. Those people do very well. Mm-hmm. Put me upon a pitch with smooth and nice and them things, with a team who have good chemistry, good understanding and all of that. Then you'll always see this thing. So me being there, bro, is I'm always trying to contribute, bro. I know it's difficult and it, I know that every time I go there. But at the same time, I'm always turning up because what? I know that even while these difficulties are there, I still not uh, use that as an excuse. You understand? still put on your best. I still have to try to put on my best. And whether that's being there for the team, Giving experiences to players, you know, understanding, like teaching them whatever way, just being together and try to win games to even try to better yourself, like put the country on a different level. Mm-hmm. And I think so, since I've been in there, bro, a lot of improvement has been made, bro. Mm-hmm. A lot, a lot, a lot. And people don't see it because at the end of the day, people just only watch what happens for 90 minutes on the pitch. But sometimes it's not always about that. The dressing room, all the dressing rooms there. I remember I was watching a Netflix um, documentary named Captains, and I think Blake did I say, oh, the, the English based players, them kind of have them own a click versus the Jamaican base, and you know, enough look at tasselings and back and forth being the dressing room. How is it now? No, you know, some would have said, no. obviously, it's, it's one of them things that, like, for example, like when me, they're my club, me, me have my people every week, and uh, Mm-hmm. You know, always I got their round and everything. But if we want the bond with everybody, we can. I think that's something like that. That that we because you only have basically a lot of English players, or you have Jamaican bond based players, or whatever the case is. Mm-hmm. So because the Englishman them know them speak them English and all, enough of them not really understand part for proper proper. So they might stick to the man them where them can communicate with them. A lot of laugh with more, you understand? Mm-hmm. But me never yet have a problem with no no, no man and think say them a move away or anything. I mean, like you're Liam Bailey though. I don't think nobody would want to have a problem. No, with but you. like what me I try to say is basically whenever everybody in a one group, like the group really mesh well together. Okay. You understand what me I say? But most of the time you go see the man him. It's just like you have your friend where you're closest to or mm-hmm. whatever. You go want their own him than. Some other man where you can't really understand so well and anything. If you even have a talk or a banter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I just one of them things. They're in every dressing room. The Spanish man over my team, them always sit around the same table, everything together. I don't want to say each Because when they go eat your dinner or whatever the case is, you got to talk and all them things. They, you know, everybody understand each other clearly. They can't get any type of joke they want or whatever. Mm. While if you sit around a table where you barely understand anything, it's kind of like, yeah, strain yourself. Uh, you yeah, understand, understand what I mean? So that's why. But I feel like, say, when we come together, the, the man and mesh well together. Mm-hmm. And the vibe, the vibe in the national team is unmatched. Which I people think, complain about, too? No. Feel like sometimes it's like a dance off. It, it, bro, it, it's unmatched, bro. And that's also one of the things that we really love about being in the national team, bro. The mm-hmm. vibe is just unmatched. But it's just everything else around it, bro. Mm-hmm. Who are the it's leaders in the dressing room? So, I mean, I said, Nana. Blakey, me, um, remember, so Jamaica team stay still, you know, be a different, different place where you see come in and out sometimes. You know? Okay. So it's just kind of like, you see me? But, but I say, Nana, <laughs> Blakey, me, um, maybe Antonio, them, and Bowser, them. Okay. Bobby Reed. Everybody, everybody kind of, like, but them man, them feel like say yo. Whenever time we talk up, then we talk up. Okay. You know what I say? What I say no man, no really need to, you know, shy out and because sometimes them things they got me, you know. And 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 the new coach, but no one butcher him name. Is it Hall Grim Grimson? Same name, Mr. Hall Grimson. Mm. What 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 the the relationship with him? You and him cool. Me and him have a good relationship. We always had a good relationship. Um, I think. His way of doing things, 
I can see where he's coming from, like in terms of like where you want the the the, the his style that he wants to impl impl um, implement implement in a the in a the um, national team. But I feel like there has to be more understanding as to how it is with the national team. But me and him have a good relationship, except from the little thing where I'm, where I'm going with. But I just, oh, I got that word. I don't really, you, you be missing curfew. No. Well, you stay, I, you stay out. And I just... did, I did. And that's, 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 that's normal. Every player do that. After your last game, in a, in a country, you have to travel the next day and all that. Nobody not really stay at it. Nobody not stay in a hotel. So did anybody stay at the hotel or was it only you that didn't stay at the yes, hotel? Sir. I know that me never stay at the hotel. Mm -hmm. Yeah? But that's not even the, 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 the that's not even what I want to discuss about running a curfew. But it's just the way how it was presented I didn't like. You know what I mean? Like, if we ever got this, so the suspension, yeah. was it that case where you already knew that you're going to be suspended? Like be before, because this is a couple like weeks, or almost a month and a change ago. Are you so, longer? All right. So he did say to me that he wasn't going to invite me to the next camp. Mm -hmm. But way before this happens, I've <laughs> I always had it in my head that, yo, it's getting too much on my plate when it comes to the national team. And I was really going to take a break from it. And then that just tip off everything. So when he mentioned that to me, you know, me say, to myself, say, I really could understand because everything, the coach come to me, but me and him have video call, but any little thing, like, him really come to me about anything, like, anything at all, him just always pick up the phone and call me. So for him to look upon me and tell me, say, I'm not invite me to the next camp, I felt that was really harsh. And just said to me, it's like, it's me being national team right now. It has, it has drained my energy a lot every time I need to go to the national team because there's so much thing that happened to the national team that I don't really share. As I say, I don't really talk on anything about, I know what it is like, but I feel like, yeah, I never like the way how he come about it. I feel like he could be more understanding mm -hmm. about things and he wasn't and we never talk. And for like, well, the last camp was in November. I would never talk for about until March, just like uh, like three days before three days before the, the squad list yeah. announced. Him so you feel blindsided by it? No. Mm -hmm. Because as I said, before him so him said to me, I was on the verge of taking a break from the national team. Like literally putting up my boots for a little bit to say, you know what? It's it's been too much. I'm mm -hmm. gonna touch upon some of them details of why my bin feel them certain type of way there. But yeah, he never we never speak, him say what him say, and we never speak from November and then March time come. I wasn't thinking about going or anything at all. But then two days or three days before the list forgot, he might try to get to me. Anyway, I finally pick up the phone and then we start talk. We talk about 40 minutes on the phone. And he said to me, he said, he want to invite me to the camp. Mm -hmm. This is the coach? This is the coach. I already make up my mind so I'm not going nowhere at all. So when he might try to get to me, I tell my father, I say, listen, you speak to him and let him know what I'm going because I feel like he doesn't have an understanding who I am and what type of person I am or what I have to face every time I come national team for you to be, just look, get up and just tell me, say, nah, invite me to next camp because I break the curfew rules or whatever the case is. I feel like that could have deal with in a much different way or we could have even have a, another conversation about the situation, but we only had one conversation, that was it. And yeah, I never, I never, I never liked So is, is it the first year of miss curfew? Or was there ever a conversation before like, yo, you miss curfew already, like, you can't say I miss curfew like this. Um, I'm not going to say the first time I miss curfew because sometimes I do miss curfew. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to I'm I'm share certain things. Why, why it's, it is what it is. Bro, a lot of people need to understand this. Like, you see, with me personally, 
me coming to represent the national team, people think just because, people see me just playing out there, right? Just say, yeah, me I represent the national team. And that's what they see. And whatever I'm going to play, they feel I'm going to talk about and whatever the case is. But for me, coming to the national team, it takes a lot. It's not just, it, no, none of them know the half I want me to go through for always make sure I'm going to turn up for the national team. And that's why sometimes them things hurt me. And for my own people, I'm me, I try to do this for. You understand mm. what I mean? I say, because really and truly, brother, the amount of things I'm going to go through for always make sure I'm going to turn up for their national team. So in terms of like transportation, are you no, reaching? I'm going to get down to details. I'm going to share this with the world now because I feel like it needs to be known. Like, it really needs to be known. And a lot of people haven't really think about it from my, from my um, point of view. How it is for me, really, be, how it is for me being Liam Bailey playing in a national team that's not nowhere close to like an England professionalism or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I'm used to professional lifestyle, bro. Professional, I'm a, I'm a, you can't hear nobody say no, nothing about my name and anything, bro. I am very humble in terms of how I speak, in terms of how I try to help people, everything, bro. You get me? I don't like the media and black much and anything, I don't like anything that bother me and anything. So it hurts sometimes to just say, say, oh, my own people them talk the way they talk about me sometime. And this is when time I represent the national team. And then it within the national team as well. It's just that it's difficult being who I am and being there, the treatment and everything. So one more I share to make people understand what I say more like it's I take I make a lot of sacrifice making sure I'm always turn up. A lot of people don't know, say, most of the time I'm me but my flight them. For, God, for make sure some reach a national team because they're very unprofessional. You're getting your flight details sent to you at 11 p.m. at night before you have to travel for the next day. And a lot of time, I'm here for my flight. So I make a national team now pay away. I don't know when the last time I ever at all. received. At all. I don't know when the last time I ever received a dollar from Jamaica national team. All of this time, Coming with the national team, it's very unprofessional, bro. When I say unprofessional, it's, it's ways where you just can't imagine. You're, tur you're turning up, the, the equipments are not, you don't have equipment for you. Like in the 70s, haven't you? Like, like, no, like you'll go and they only have a one shirt for you, yeah, for final shots, but we are. Just, man, I turn mm. up the game and you see a woman, a woman shirt, it's a woman shirt, then print off him wear. Bro. In terms of travels and all that thing, it's, it's just ridiculous, bro. It's, it's, it's a lot. And whenever I'm there, bro, it's just like they don't know how to operate. And I, I'm not expecting them to know all these things. But me, it's not like a norm, a other normal player that's there, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, when we go places, I feel exposed. Like, anybody can that's run security up on wise. me. Yeah, anybody can run up on me. Just fling a camera in my face or... Do what them feel every time we are child and them thing there. Yeah. And most of the time, bro, a lot, a lot of time, not most of the time, all the time, no. when we are playing any game anywhere, people are coming for come say Liam Bailey. Obviously, they come to watch the national team, but who you think them, them want to see enough of the time? Me. Mm -hmm. You understand what I say? I don't expect say yo, them to know, say yo, you know, say Liam if I have a with him there, can't make nobody just a run up, run up on him. Like, I've always feel exposed when I'm at the national team. So you, you have voiced these concerns? No, JFF? I never. Because, as I say, I try mesh and, you know... You don't want to be the Beyonce of the it, group. Yeah, and everybody say, oh, yeah, like you more than me. More people. than you. And I, I never yet want to get anyone of my teammate them that feeling this. So I never yet go to anybody and try mesh. Yeah, because I could have seen you that could have I fucking just in him. Like somebody has said, why yo, we never asked for that yet? Why I feel like I'm supposed to? And I am not that person, bro. And if I want the team to do well, I can't make the man feel like I'm better than them and all them somebody. Mm -hmm. But sometimes that's not even good to sometimes I have to take my foot off the and that's where them take advantage with it. Because you're not getting paid. You're, I'm not, I'm not, Jamaica national team is not doing anything for me, you know. Jamaica national team can't really do much for me, you know. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I say that Jamaica national team cannot give me exposure, you know, bro. Jamaica playing for the national team, now I'm going to Real Madrid call me, you know. And me a shine light upon the national team, basically, you know. Playing overseas and re repping as a Jamaican all the time, you know, bro. 
People know Liam Bailey, everyone in the world, you know, bro. I don't remember the last place I ever go. And, you're just and somebody person. don't know yeah. me. You understand what I say? So, Jamaica not paying us. Jamaica can't really give me no exposure. And I two things I low my ass them for. And every time is I cannot get this. You have man a book fly for me and I that send me from England to Jamaica. I never go from England to Jamaica. I and I send economy fly for travel with three different stops. When there's mm. two mm. things I low my ass for. I, I don't ask for pay and none of them somebody, bro. Two things I low my ass for. Just make sure Just make sure I have a proper flight and make sure I have a room by myself. Yeah. That's all. I'm, I can't get that, bro. And it's just like, what am I here doing for? Like, if, if I'm not a national team, bro, I can go for my vacation and then I can live good. Yeah, exposed can to injuries. Enjoy, like, I can enjoy my life. Bro, I'm exposed to injury. I'm exposed to whenever I come national team and go back, I will be on the bench because the coach I always think that it's a long flight. So I'm never going to start again when I come back after national team. I, when, if I get injured, I'm just going to be sent back to the club. Like, it's just so much things, bro, that sometimes I think, like, what am I doing it for, bro? Like, so, so, so you know why really... me do it? You know yeah. why me do it? Even though you're Jamaican. I'm a Jamaican, I love my country, I'm a Hopefully, one day my kids them come up and can come in a better environment than I am in. You get what I mean? Mm-hmm. I say? Or the future generation can come up in a better environment. But sometimes I think about it like, like, bro, these things are happening before me did born. You understand what I mean? I say? So, can I be the change? Oh, me, so I think about them like, I feel like me can be the change. And there's only, only so much one person can endure, bro. Mm-hmm. You understand what I mean? Because me cannot put my best foot forward every time and then all me get is disrespect. Not, not showing up for me at all. Like people just treating you like shit. So it's just a lot to deal with, bro. And me deal with it all these years because I want to stay grounded. I really and truly, Jimmy, don't, don't have to deal with it, bro. Because for one, Jamaica cannot pay me, bro. Mm-hmm. Cannot, bro. So I'm not here for the money. I'm not here for the exposure. I'm here for two things. For maybe help the team make it to our next World Cup to try to change the environment for young kids coming up. That's what I'm here and trying to do it for, you know, bro. That's the only two things in a J. What else can Jamaica really offer me to really with me? Jay, as I say, me is a humble, humble youth, dog. When I tell you, I'm a humble, ask anybody around me, a humble youth. And the reason why I say this, I, can, I could have been that guy to say, yo, you know what? This is, this is, this is crap. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not there, so like, when I get paid and all of them things there, what me I do yesterday, like, I couldn't say them things a long time. I've been in a national team, I got through them things, I face it. I'm going to turn up every single camp when I can. If I only, when I'm injured alone, I'm going to come camp. I mm-hmm. never yet turn on a camp until um, this, 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 this camp ever, when I'm there for now. Never yet turn on a camp. And w- will you turn it down if you never mention that to you? Yeah, you say that thing about it, but would you turn it down? Yeah. Then? Okay. Yeah, because right now, this is also what I want to let people know. I'm actually giving the national team a break. It's been a lot on my body. It's been a lot on my head, mm-hmm. mental upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like I'm really going to take a break and really focus on club football for now and, you know, do my thing a little bit and try to... <sighs> Are you sure that's something you want to do? No, I, I am very sure. It's, it's things that build up for years and that just made me really just said to myself, yeah, I really put out a lot. Let me, let me let's take a little step back now and just mm-hmm. watch from the, the outside to see. So you know if you had no mediation can go on between you and the coach and you and, you and the JFF, no, whatever but... it is, so that's supposed to happen. Because right now, um, I think it was Dookie come out and said this is the wrong time to not have Liam Bailey in the club. It will, but you have to also remember saying, no, Jay, brother, I'm a human, you know, bro. Like, me have feelings, in you know, a dog. You see me? There's only so much you can do, bro. Like the moment, the moment that thing me push into the national, bro. What me tell you say? When me the national team, bro. My help for me help national team. I probably that's why me not perform the way I perform. Mm-hmm. Bro, what me tell you say? Me have fair help staff members, making sure that them good. Like financially. Financially, whatever. All outside of camp, bro. 
I'll do a little I'm gonna depend on Kiam, bro. Making sure that the player them, yo, any them 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 are if anybody ever come to me about no, I'm seeing anybody need it. I'm dead for them, brother. Mm-hmm. Cause me I go on the best from them man yeah. And them man the upstairs now nah, do nothing, bro. And the man them now nah, get pee and all them things. So me being who I am, bro, I go do that. Cause I summer stay, bro. Mm-hmm. So the other leaders, them, them no, like talk on your behalf, like, yo, we'll see what trip you got you. No, they never, they right. never have to look at it like from, from my point of view. They never have to look at it like that, bro. They're not in the shoes that I am in. So they never have to look at it like that. I'm never sure, say, yo, yo, at them thing, I'm gonna go through you, brother. So no need for it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm gonna keep, I'm humble myself, brother, and just deal everybody normal and the same, bro. Like, I'm not step out of my lane to make somebody feel like, say, yo, I'm better than them or nothing like that. Because I just saw my stay, bro. Like, I know where I come from, brother. So for me, it's all about upliftment. I never going to make one feel less, ever. Mm-hmm. And if I can help in any way, I'm going to do it because I can. I mean, I feel like these this people I watch this right now, enough people kind of heartbroken right now for no say, yo, you not going to play. Yeah. You get me it, is, it is for me and myself, you know. I'm not saying I'm done with the national team, but for right now, I'm taking a break, bro. Because it's been a lot. And I think a lot of people never not gonna expect this, but it's just my decision and I feel like what's, that's what's best for me right now. So, so could you give us a time like that's all right then? I'm not going to put no time on it, but for right now, I just know that I'm really focusing on my club career right now and just, you know, doing what's best for myself because sometimes you have to also think about yourself sometimes. Mm-hmm, for sure. You can't always give. You give. You can't always just give, give, give. You gotta give till you give out. <laughs> mm-hmm. You see me? I say, and I feel like I've always been giving, I never re- really Receive, get anything yeah. back in return for my, for make me feel like, yo, it's worth fighting for. So imagine you're five or something where you just like, all you get the disrespect, unprofessionalism. Like people feel like they can talk to you anyhow, and really and truly, if me want, me can step out of the lane and make somebody know, say, yo, bro. We're not the same. We're not on the same level, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, don't because I'm humble like this. Like, we're not on the same level, bro. You understand what I'm mean? saying? So, what, what about even like, like, like the fans, them? Like, when them, you know, met them tweets and them remarks, like, that, that kind of mess with yeah, them mentally? No, no, at all. Because, Jay, how much? I started my career in 2015, Jay. A long time I had with the media. Mm-hmm. Long time. I know how this is, bro. And I true. Like, what the people them say, like, when I perform the same as I perform at Tambilla, it is true. So why am I going to feel a way about it? But I know why. But if you're clever enough, and you know football, and not just talking football, you will understand and know why it is. I want to always play good. They think I go out there and just say, oh, okay. Me, yeah, I think I purposely want for Do you think that these, some of these teams that do, don't do well is because... Um, them go out there and them just literally I go play about and make the other team beat them. No, it's because you have players who are just better than players and you have coaches that are just better than some are money, a team with money, buy the best players them and that's why you have good teams and bad teams. But the players, every player play to win. I always try to play to their best of their ability. Nobody go out there for play with them. So football is all about the team that you have, bro, the coach where you have and how you can structure things. To get the best game out of everybody, I don't feel like it's not the same, bro. It's, it's just not the same. I have to work with what I have. Mm-hmm. You understand what I mean? If, for example, if you, I feel like if you put me in a in a, in a, in a in the team, all my career I've been in teams that is not like the biggest, biggest of teams, mm-hmm. but them up there. But I feel like if you put me in one of them big teams there, where you know sometimes I watch football and you just eat the man in the easy, yeah. the bar, easy. I feel like I don't even need to do all of the work for me, all of the team on me play. I work, I have to work for score my goal. I you know. say, what do you score a tapping goal? You know how happy I feel? You know how long I <laughs> score a goal like that? I be me, I have to do something right away. While you have man score 15, 20 goal, and all them I do, I go so, pop, tapping, tapping, tapping. You know we talk. No, I don't want to hear that. No, it's just general me I talk. Yeah. <laughs> tapping and them things, bro. Just some easy goal, but everything on me, I work, I have to work, bro. You see me, I say? So, it is what it is, though. I have to just work with what I have here, bro. You see me? Not the best facilities. I mean, honestly, as a it's fan, it's not the same. Bro. And as a Jamaican, well, I love there could have been like some form of mediation or some intervention by 
the people them upstairs forget to back up on the team. Or do I have an understanding? I mean, it know. won't be, bro. Because you, you, when, 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 when in the big Canada, you really look elated, like, yo, yeah, Copa. I was. But, and then no, it's no, just that they go home. Right, all right. You are. You are. <laughs> I was supposed to tell, I was supposed to give a speech after that game to let the players them know out of respect. Say, yo, I never want to play them know like this. Mm -hmm. But it is what it is. I never want to ruin the moment. After the match against Canada, I was supposed to give a speech to make the player them know say, yo, lads, this is it for me. Like, I pack up my boots for a little minute. And you see me, but I couldn't ruin the moment. Mm -hmm. So I end up giving another speech about something else. But really and truly, I'm going to take time and go back. To my club and everything, I'm think about it. Be like, I really need to take a break from this, cause it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not good for my body, bro. It's not good for my mental health and everything, bro. Cause All right, so question, like let, let's say, it's, hypothetically speaking, Jamaica qualify to the World Cup, cause it's easier now, right? With the, the fact Very that it's easy. That's why I mean, I tell you, at the wrong time, me I even say it, but it is what it is. I'm a human. All right, what's supposed to what's supposed to qualify now? What's Liam Bailey stands? There is it like, all right, I'm ready now. Or is it like, nah, no, I'm good. No, like, I personally just need one to take a break. Whenever time that is, I feel like I'm ready to come back, then I'm ready. Not saying I have to get selected to come back. Oh, I'm not saying that. You understand? Say yeah. But if I'm not selected, Jay, at the end of the day, you make a decision. I'm going to take up my foot off of the ground a little bit. It's still not going to matter. Like, I can't stop playing international football right now, Jay. Cause it's like in you know, like, Jamaica is not doing anything for me, bro. Yeah, it's like nice for playing at work, but is it changing what's happening within the federation? That's only for myself going to the national, um, going to a World Cup. It's something personal for you. That's personal for me. That's not that's not helping what's going on within the federation. That's not helping the younger kids coming into an environment that's professional or at a way better place than it is now. And that's why I do it. I don't do it for myself reaching to a World Cup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you understand, you understand what I'm trying to say? I may not do it for that, bro. So if I invite my back, it wouldn't, it's not like may I do it for my reason and why may I do it. Because at the end of the day, as I said, them cannot pay me. And none of that, bro. I'm not doing it for anything else than to younger kids and my son, them will come up or whatever can come into a good they environment, bro. Is your about? son them? You know the future oh, when we yeah, have kids yeah, and them so many mess I say, but yeah, like yeah. even you're a youth, what are you? But mess I say, if you have youth <laughs> and them thing, when them come up, them can come into a better environment. Than, oh, God. You know what I say? But bro, it's not a, it's not that, it's not that, it's not for myself, bro. Mm -hmm. Because really and truly, bro, I can be selfish and just say, you know what? Me know say all of them thing, I go on a national team, me know for the day. You see, me I'm getting first. paid pretty, pretty well. Even right now, me and you talk, right? So. Money I make. Money I make. Well, I'm like you my group, you know? But you understand me, I say like, it's, that's not why I'm, why I'm doing it, bro. Like, I can, I can be selfish and say, you're right. You see me? Mm -hmm. But I'm not. I'm, I'm there all the time. If the coach calls for me anything, I'm willing to help him with anything. Mm -hmm. You see me, I say? So, before we wrap up, because more if I just give a message to the Jamaican people out there where, I got to say, yo, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. If you play for the team, then why up on the team? Why are your message to them? My message to them is, I want to be on the team. I've always wanted to be on the team. That's why I'm going to show up every time. That's why I can pay thousands of dollars to come book my own ticket and make sure I'm travel comfortable for always their, 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 their camp and turn up every time. Even all one time my toe broke, even one time my foot mash up, I still have come to camp and make sure I'm there. I'll play with. Broke two all of them things that I got through for being with the national team, bro. Mm -hmm. So, I just want them to know, say, brother, I've always wanted to be on the team. I always want to represent my country. Me love Jamaica. People probably know that. Maybe they are Jamaica, why? I love my country, brother. All before me I represent Jamaica, I rep Jamaica, bro. And me I rep Jamaica upon the biggest platform them ever, bro. You see me? So, only I do this in my country, bro. You see me, I say? Hmm. And for the younger generation, I can't have to say that because. Bro, but I love to see my country I play in a World Cup and I compete and everything, bro. So in, in the next, in the next, like let's say 10, 15 years, when I look towards retirement, do you feel like you try for go in you know, the JFF and try for restructure things? 
Because yeah, they have, they're going to personally, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try to use money, power, and power, everything, and put in some professional people in you know, the thing. Because mm -hmm. I said this already, you know, I said it already, and I'm not going to free to say it again. If hey, our Jamaica get better, the whole of upstairs have to get removed. The whole of upstairs have to get removed. A million bailies to that. Upstairs have to get removed, or else there won't be no changes. We're going to have this for the next decade to come, because these things happen. Before I was born, bro. In, in fact, the period, we less than where the money might get. Where did I get way back then? I know. And you're not even getting paid. <laughs> that's, that's the thing. You're not even getting paid, bro. But it is what it is, fam. Like, you know? Mm -hmm. For us, do what we have to do, dog. Like, I'm still, I'm still there for the team and everything, bro. Like, me and the man, I'm good. You see what I say? Like, this now, I'm not taking nothing from the man, I'm not taking bro. But, like, me really, really dead for the money anytime. Any one of the money can tell you that, bro. I never yet show no face to no man like my bigger than them or not. So you Any feel like this is an influence on people for just say they want to take a break too? Che, I know what it's doing to my, my body and I know what it's doing to me. If it's doing that to anybody else, you should make up your mind and be a big adult and decide what you want to decide. But I know what I'm deciding right now and that is to take a break and focus on club football for now. Well, you heard it here first and let's be honest, Liam mm -hmm. Bailey, big up yourself. Blessings. Oh yeah, you don't know if I promote Gibson. And oh, listen, oh, watch out, yeah. watch out, I'll tell you why too. Oh. I'll tell you why this happened this happened a long time. Send me that thing that we are. Me I promote my party, Gibson, you know. Mm -hmm. The flyer job when? My God, when the flyer job? Three weeks ago, when last when the, when the squad list announced? Jesus. Huh? The squad list for the national team. No, no, no. No, what are you? Yeah. A couple of years ago. A couple of years ago. Yeah. And Gypsy, I know, I was waiting for me. Say, things say, me, I got put up Gypsy and I got it. Mm -hmm. yeah, anyway, Gypsy, June, June, June 21st. Mask camp. Mask camp. So, <laughs> make sure it's so everybody. Oh my God, be a cop. Yeah, you might live a life too. Hey, oh my God. <laughs> Esco. Yeah, that's mad, man. La Wasare. La Wasare. La boss, I'm a G still yeah, enough. But, yeah, so I never die. I'm not seeing perform your show. Yeah, and <laughs> that's it. <laughs> 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 yeah, big up a step back, my brother.